so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey everyone, it's me Blippi And I'm with my best friend Mika Hi everyone, we're at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California Yeah! And it's actually nighttime and this place is closed Yeah, so we got special permission to be here at night Yeah! That gives me a great idea. Right. Let's have Night at the Aquarium! Yeah, let's go! Come on! <laughs> I go be Mika, have fun. See ya! Thank you. Whoa! 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 What is that? Check it out! It looks like a spider crab. Yeah, it looks like a giant red spider, but it's a crab. Yeah! And check it out, Mika. Looks like it has some claws. Yeah, pictures. <laughs> it also looks like it's looking right at you, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, my name's Blippi. Hey, What's your Mika. name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't have a name. <laughs> have you ever seen a crab walk on the ocean floor? Yeah, they walk sideways. Yeah. Will you act like crabs with us? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! I like being a crab. Ooh, me too. <laughs> wow. wow! Check it out! So pretty! Yeah, do you know what they are? Those are sea stars! Yeah! And look, they're the shape of a star! Yeah! That makes sense. <laughs> Shall we count how many points it has? Yeah, let's do it! One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Looks like they're just stuck to the rock like this. Yeah. <laughs> they seem to really like it. They're all hugging this rock. I like acting like a sea star. <laughs> <laughs> just like it, <laughs> That's silly. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Big tank! Wow, you're right! <gasps> so much water in here! Whoa! Whoa, check it out, Mika! Fish! Wow! They're all swimming together! Yeah! Here they go! These are yellow tails! Yeah. <laughs> Hello! If you look really close, you see that their tails are yellow! Yeah! Whoa, there's so many of them! Wow, I think they like us! They yeah. keep coming over! <laughs> Do you know what a big group of fish is called? Yeah, a, a school. school. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Mika, look it? way over here. Come on. Do you see what it is? Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness. A really cute sea otter. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wow. Sea otters are so cool. Whoa. Wow. They're in the water! Hey! They can swim in the water and be on land! Yeah! And their fur is really, really dense! Yeah! Oh, look! They're snuggling! Oh, they're so cute! Hey! I wonder if they're best friends! Like us! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Their hair is so dense. Actually, it's fur. Yeah. yeah! There's about a million pieces of hair about that big of size. That's super duper furry. Yeah, <laughs> that's equal to about all the hair on an average sized dog. Wow, that's a lot of fur. Yeah, whoa. They like to dive down and find their food, things like shellfish, crab. Clams, yeah. sea urchins. Yep, and they'll bring it up out of the water onto a rock and hang out and eat their food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how their front hands kind of look like hands, but their back feet, yeah, they're actually kind of flippers. Yeah. <laughs> so then they swim with their back flipper feet. Yep, <laughs> it's like flippers in the back and paws in the front. Yeah, check them out. <sighs> well, there it goes. Wow. wow! Check it out! They're so tiny! Yeah, teeny tiny jellyfish! Yeah. Wow! Look at them go! They're just swimming like this! Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah! I've <laughs> never seen them this 
small before. I know, they're so small. <laughs> oh, and look over here, Mika. Whoa. Whoa, these are a little bit bigger. Yeah, we can call these medium-sized jellyfish. <laughs> That's right. Wow, look at their long tentacles. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> Whoa, Mika, look. Wow. Big jellyfish. Yeah. Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Jellyfish are so cool! They don't have hearts, they don't have brains, but they need to eat food to survive! Yeah! They're living creatures! That's right! Wow! That is so cool! And if you ever see a jellyfish, you want to make sure not to touch it because they sting! Yeah! Wow! Oh, hello! <laughs> Do you see the brown tentacles? Looks like hair. Yeah, that hair tentacle looking type of things, that's what actually stings you if you touch it. Good thing this is glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, see you later, jellyfish. Wow, pretty. <laughs> so we saw small jellyfish, mm -hmm. medium-sized jellyfish, and big jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look over here. Oh, come on. Whoa. Hello! I'm Blippi! I'm Mika! <laughs> and this is a puffin! Wow! Oh. Hi, buddy! Look at him just floating on top of the water! Yeah! See you later! <laughs> Puffins are super cool because they can dive down into the water and catch a lot of fish! Yeah! Ten fish is pretty normal for them to catch in one dive! Yeah! yeah. And do you see those rocks up there? Yeah! That's where they live. Yep, see? All the way up top, they're just hanging out together on the rocks. Yep. Yeah, if there's a cliff next to water, you might find some puffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, puffin! Hey! Whoa! Their beaks look so cool. Yeah! Whoa, check it out! So colorful in there. Yeah, it's a coral reef. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see all those fish? They're so colorful. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah, ooh, look at wow. that one right there. It's just yellow. Yeah. So yellow, it looks like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, Flippy, I bet you'd like that one over there because it's orange, one of your favorite colors. Oh yeah, you're right. And there's white stripes on it and black. That one looks really cool. Yeah. Ooh, and that one right there, yeah, has a blue body and a yellow tail. Oh, cool. Whoa. Ooh, do you see any other colorful ones, Mika? Hmm. Oh, I see a black and white one coming this way. Oh, yeah, black and white stripes. Yeah, almost like a zebra. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Ah. Ooh, and look at that one right there. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, a blue body with some black and a yellow tail. Wow. wow. There are so many colors in here. Yeah, so colorful. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. These are some of the teeniest, tiniest frogs I have ever seen. These are poisonous dart frogs and can typically be found in the rainforest. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's like a red orange. Poisonous dart frogs come in so many different sorts of colors, and their bright colors tell animals and people to stay away because they're really poisonous, but they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I think there's some more over here. Come on. Wow. These have white stripes down their back. They look so cool. They're poisonous because of the poison in the food that they eat. <laughs> you have to stay away, but wow, they're just really adorable and fabulous. <laughs> Mika, look! <laughs> Check it out, more frogs. Whoa! These are magnificent tree frogs. Whoa, it's the color green, yeah! That's called camouflage. It blends in with its environment. 
Yeah, do you know what is green in here? Yeah, leaves! Whoa! So then other animals can't see those frogs. So cool! <laughs> Ooh, and look down here. These are Mexican salamanders. Yeah, also known as oxalotls. What a silly name! Whoa! Hello! Yeah! They're typically darkish, greenish, brownish in the nature. Yeah! So then they blend in to their environment, just like those frogs. Yeah! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, it's an octopus! Can you see it? Yeah! Whoa! Octopuses have eight arms! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> we, together, have four! One, two, three, four! Whoa! Times that by two, and then you have eight. Yeah, can you imagine <laughs> having eight arms? Whoa, that'd be so cool! Yeah, and octopuses have little suction cups on their arms so that they can taste wherever they go. Yeah, and it sticks to things. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> and octopuses can actually change color and texture. That's called camouflage. Yeah, and they're also really, really smart. <laughs> yeah, and did you know octopuses, their mouths are actually beaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, it looks really white now. Wow. It's hard to see back there. Yeah, it's oh, changing it's colors. Oh, hello, octopus. Hi. Whoa, take a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Bunch of sharks! Yeah. Wow! But I actually heard that we can get in! What? Yeah! That's so cool! Shall we? Yeah! Okay! Whoa! You need to be very careful to not step on any of these sharks! Excuse us! Excuse us! Woo. Ooh, it's a little cold and chilly! Whoa! Wow! Yeah, these are shark jaws. Yeah. And look at all the teeth. There's so many teeth. Whoa, yeah. hello. For sharp. Yeah. Whoa. Are they sharp? Whoa, yeah, they are. Look at this really big one. Whoa, Mika, cool. <laughs> wow. And this shark jaw. Yeah, the teeth are really small. This jaw is actually the same type of sharks in here. Yeah. So cute. Much <laughs> smaller than something like this. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Bet you can't guess what shark this comes from, Mika. Uh, it's one tooth. And it comes from a shark that's really big. It's a really great shark. Oh, the great white shark, Flippy? Yeah. Whoa, look how big that tooth Ooh. is. No! <laughs> ah, chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so silly. Wow. Yeah. So, Mika, we can actually touch these sharks. Whoa. Yeah. I wonder what they feel like. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, hello, shark. Hello. Hello. Come here. Are you ready to get pet? Oh, these are a little shy. Oh, here's oh. one. Here one comes. Come on over. Oh, yeah, I did. What did, did you feel like? It actually felt a little rough. Uh, the skin of these sharks feel like sandpaper. Oh, it's so rough. Whoa. Oh, here's one. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, Mika. Here you go. Whoa. Oh, it's rough. Not smooth at all. No. Nope. <laughs> hey, come check out over here. What's over here? Yeah. Whoa. Get out nice and safe. Hey. Then. Go right over here. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Whoa. A Ray. bunch of rays. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at them. Whoa. Hey, Ray, how are you? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> Shall 
Shall we get in? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. So in here you want to shuffle your feet. So then you don't step on any of the rays. Yeah, good idea. Ooh. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Look right over there, Mika. Is this food for the rays? It is. Wow. Special surprise. <laughs> it's a vegan. Yeah. Ooh, and is there another one? Yep, this is oh. for you. Oh, thank you so much. And this is for me. All right. So how we feed them is we just toss it out. Look at this. Some fish in here. Yeah. Anybody hungry? Looks like some shrimp. Ooh. Check it out. Wow. Want some food? Looks pretty yummy if you were a ray, huh? <laughs> Whoa, Can here I they are. Some? Yum. <laughs> Whoa. Your nice time snack. Yeah, here you go, rays. Ooh. Actually, we can touch them too. Really? What yeah. do they feel like? Oh, can you tell me? I'm gonna do two fingers along their back. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, hey, Ray. Whoop. Oh, here's one. Oh, hi. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, cool. Looks like he gave me a high five. Cool. It actually kind of feels like. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> yep, I found that one. Yeah, different than the sharks that were really rough. Yeah, these are really smooth and I slippery. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so silly! <laughs> wow, now they really want to eat. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And they flap their wings. <laughs> oh, he's trying to eat my foot. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, what a great night at the aquarium. Yeah, we saw so many cool animals. Yeah, like those adorable sea otters. <laughs> and those jellyfish. <laughs> and the octopus. Whoa, with eight arms. Yeah. Wow, and those crabs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, so many <laughs> underwater creatures. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. N-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> so cool. See you later. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a great night, Blippi and Mika. Thank you. you See too. ya. Whoa. Ah, uh, more junk. <gasps> oh, oh, look. A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello, I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. 
Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. Oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when their front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the floss! <laughs> It's me, Flippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! And this boat is awesome! Because it's not a regular boat, this is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran! <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Whoa! <laughs> But this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean, yeah. Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this. The ceiling is my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello. And then you take a clip. And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hats. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? 
Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around, we make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. Okay, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. <laughs> yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> and this is a steering wheel. Very important part of the boat. And it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> but look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car. Except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa. <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Whoa. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey. Well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Uh, what's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa. Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to be very gentle, though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa. Look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa. Hey. Let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa. So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Look. This is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly. Whoa. His belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of his little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look, whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa. And it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here. And this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. 
And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve, mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Ooh. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Ooh. You mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It mm. is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. Ooh. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah!
Whoa! We drove the boat all over the ocean. We finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. You see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We did it! We see the dolphins! Look! It looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa! Look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa, and look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo! <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello! <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here, there's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. 
<laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now, we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now, it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh. <laughs> all kinds. Look. We have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Mm. <laughs> They're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Mm. Yeah. Let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> so okay. So let's grab our animals, and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown-up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're going to use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. 
<laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. P-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Zebo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You have reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Zemo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. Yeah. Today, 
we're at Ranch at the Pier. In Malibu, California. <laughs> yeah, here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look at, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles. Yummy. Whoa, Mika. Hey. Whoa, hey, Julia. Hi, Blippi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so what's mom and pop shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please. Oh no, I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle? That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow, 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh. Yeah, go ahead Thank and you. feed some horses while you're here. We oh. can feed some horses? That's so fun. <laughs> All right, yeah. see you later. See you Thanks, Julia. Woo! Wow. I'm so excited to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At those beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, a nice and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you Ooh, too, there Flippy. You go. Whoa! <laughs> Look. Wow. Oh. Do you like carrots? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mika, look! Wow. They even have alpacas! Hey! Oh, they're Whoa. so cute! Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa. Wow, they're such healthy eaters! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Yummy? Yeah. I think so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah. <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh, yeah. Fruits and vegetables. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Flippy, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay, All let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. <laughs> See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. <sighs> and it smells so good. Well, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree. Cool, come on. Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, 
These are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then, uh, let's see, how about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second. Here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh. I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go! Whoa! Look at this garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa! And look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach. And it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that, but popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf. And then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, Yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. <sighs> hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. Hmm. Oh, look! One of my favorite fruits of all time strawberries. See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberry is a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. I mm, should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, um, tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yum. 
And I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do, I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum, can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome, and some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes, so yummy. <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana? But wait a second, it's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you want to do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there. Just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's it. And then I'm going to add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not going to blend properly. Okay. All right. And what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum. <laughs> All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually going to be green. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be pretty loud. So are you ready? All right. I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Whoa. Is it done? It's done. Wow. It does look green. All right. You're going to love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. <laughs> Smells so sweet. Yep. All right, okay. so now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow, check it out. Oh, yummy. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at-home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at-home. Oh, cool, at home pops, here we go. Hey, do you wanna count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How okay. That sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. I'm so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And there the great part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Rika. Welcome Hi. to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Yeah. I picked some. Strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep, that's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're gonna make? Beets me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're gonna look amazing. So, beets are very, interesting ingredient. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. 
It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Mmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. going to juice real well. So, we're just going to turn it on. And you could throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool! And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa! It smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And we can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa. This is going to be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Lippy's going to love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go okay. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right. Might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay, now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we tried to. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good mm. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah, at Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming.